Hi, this is Rob with CoolCenter.com. Today we're priming an in-ground cool pump by slowly bleeding in the air that's trapped in the lines after long winter winterization. Right now our pump is running on the shallow skimmer only, and it made sense to start our system all, only on one line. So of our four incoming lines, skimmer, skimmer, main drain, and spa drain over here, we only have the skimmer open. The pump is drawing water, as you can see, in the pump basket and through our check valve over here with a clear lid, we can see the water moving. And now we want to open up the other skimmer, then the main drain, and then the spa. And the trick is to open the valve very slowly to introduce the air, almost one air bubble at a time. Here it comes. It's managing it. If it starts to bog down too much here, then I would close the valve again. But it's, it's slowly introducing the air. Oop, that's a little too much, so I'm closing the skimmer valve again. Let it get caught back up again. There it goes. Now I'll slowly open the other skimmer just by millimeters. I'm just turning this valve by millimeters to slowly introduce the air that's trapped in the other skimmer pipe. Sort of a open it, close it, open it, close it. And little by little, we suck out all the air that's trapped in that pipe until you get nothing but water coming through. And now we have both pipes open. Pumps a lot quieter now. And next we'll do the main drain. We'll introduce all the air from the main drain line. Slowly, millimeter by millimeter. Here comes the air. Slowly, like that, okay. Looking good, looking good. If you just open up the, all the valves at once, it's too much air for the pump to overcome. That's why we always, when trying to prime a pump during spring, we start it off the nearest skimmer and then slowly open up the other valves until all the air is drawn in one line at a time, one pipe at a time. Oops, a little too much. So I closed the valve again because it sucked in a little too much air. Now I'll slowly open it again. And while it's doing this, I have the uh, air bleeder periodically opening the top to release some of the trapped air inside the filter tank. We're almost there with the main drain. Yeah. Here it comes, okay, and now the main drain is fully open. Only thing left is our spa drain over here, which has a uh, electric actuator on the valve to turn it automatically. I could remove the actuator and turn it manually by hand by removing these four screws, but I'll just flip the little switch here just a second and then back to center. Flip it down another half a second and back to center. All right, another half a second. Oops, other way. So there's a little toggle switch here that I'm 
using to manually operate this valve and open it just a millimeter or two at a time. There we go. And that one was easy because the spa is elevated a little closer to the level of the pump, so not a whole lot of air was trapped in that pipe. And that is how we bleed in the air from a in-ground pool system. See you next time.